Hey there, welcome to this series. Uh, we'll be talking about IK boosters. So in this video specifically, by the end of this video, you will know how to set up IK booster. So let's give it a go. For a start, IK booster is a very powerful tool. It work on any object or even an object with bones in it. So for me to demonstrate uh, what I'm trying, how to set it up, we'll need an object in here. And I think the closest thing I can I can get is uh, make an object is getting a now object in here so you can set it up to however you want you can put um, the shape whatever you want but for me for this demonstration it's okay I'll just push okay and now we will need bones into this so I'll come under setup and add and we'll have bones here so we'll add a bone so you can rename the bone if you wish it's up to you but for my sake of demonstrating I'm okay I'll say okay so we have a bone right there and now I need like five just to make a chain here so you can either come here add bones or you can oh, you can either uh, come here add child bone or you can use the shortcut which is the equal sign so you can just click and just say okay so it will create a bone here so let me just create those that's like one two three four five and so we have bones so these bones if i go into object mode and get uh selecting the now notice if i move the now the bones are in there so if you have used um uh inverse kinematics before uh, this IK booster is like having the both of uh, the best of both worlds. There's uh, inverse kinematics and there's also forward kinematics, uh, all fused into one. So let me just demonstrate that for a start. So here to apply it, we go under modify and IK booster or shortcut on the keyboard is Control B. So you do that and notice uh, there's uh, things disappear and you just come here on the now object right click and say apply uh, IK booster so now at this point it simply means we can grab and just move our stuff so uh, before I go too far notice whenever I pull this everything just goes berserk so I'll undo there are menus here so you for you to actually know first for a start that ik booster is uh, activated you see these these round 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 things and here there's parent and ik main i'll talk about these in later videos in specific ways so for now you can create there's a menu so let's say we don't want when we drag this everything moves like that so we'll select this front part and then right click and we can say IK stop. So when IK reaches at this point, it will stop. So meaning even when I drag it here, it doesn't move like that. So this IK stop actually works even in the middle. Say for example, I add it here. I say IK stop here. It's like the way your leg works, um, which I'll demonstrate when we have a character. Your leg will lift, move, but it doesn't affect the limbs, doesn't, don't affect the torso here, the stomach part. It reaches there and stops. So that's the IK stop. So it will stop immediately, it reaches at that point. And then when you select here, you can move it as well, meaning it stops from here. All right, undo. So there are two things here. So let me just remove that and let me also Okay, I'll leave this one here. There's another thing called uh, Pix, which is on top here. I started with IK stop, which is on the second. I'll go to the fix. So the fix, when you fix a part like this, it simply means it is stuck there. It is not going to move. Say, for example, you're animating a character and then you've got an elbow and you want to twist it, you want to twist the arm, but you want the elbow to remain at that exact position, you can use uh, IK stop. So meaning, if I move this, 
it's acting like uh, IK stop, which is, but it's a fix. But notice when I move the parent here, it does not move. This is what I meant, say you have an elbow and you want to twist it in some way. You can actually move it and then that part remains still. If I do this, say here, this simply means when I fix something, let's say I fix two points, it means I can move the rest of this. Oops. I can move another part like this one here, but it's maintaining the positions of these two. It makes uh, the way I'm sure you've noticed the way it's moving here, it's distorting here because I'm moving the parent, you're not, which you're not supposed to do. It doesn't work very well when you do that. So, unfix. And also, another thing I want to talk about is, uh, I'm sure it's mode. When you see a round, uh, when it's round like this, I'm sure you've noticed here there's a box. And then when I select here or the rest here, it's round. So where it's showing around like this, it simply means uh, this is for rotation. And this, when it's a box, it simply means it's for movement. So when I select this, I move the whole thing. And when I select here, it rotates. Uh, I don't know if uh, I'm being, uh, I don't know if I'm reaching out, but you can also move your, your bones in specific directions using your your uh, pitch heading and wait I don't I don't even know which order I'm going right now but yeah your pitch heading and bank so you can use that as well just if in case you need to be specific and now going to the modes so you can select this and then just change the mode so there's here there's a menu called mode so it's under rotate right now you can change it to move and meaning you can now move your your whole your hierarchy from the point that you need so notice here it's still under rotation but here i've changed it it's now under move so i'll turn this back to rotate and another thing is Sometimes you notice you create uh, a complex rig where you have a lot of uh, points that are so close to each other and then you have a hard time selecting which point you want to move. So there's also another feature which if I select it, let me select this here and I come under option. So there's this one controller edit. So this one, it will, it will just edit this control, so you can move it. So notice if I move this, it means it's this point that I was selecting here. Let me just go back. Let me end uh, edit. So meaning, you see the way I'm selecting this, clicking here and clicking around. It simply means when I click on this one, it will be selecting from this point because I've moved it far away so in case let's say it's on a character's shoulder or maybe on the neck where some bones are going down some are going to the shoulders and then you have a point there and you want to select a specific bone that is going to the shoulder and you can't select it uh, because there are so many points you can actually drag them and then move that point to the side just like this and you'll be selecting from the side or an alternative is if we go back option and controller edit you can also change the size of that so you can come here size change it to two or you can actually change it to three depends on you so that's another thing so once you're done you just uh, end edit then this reset here in case you've made mistakes and you want to reset it you go back to where it was originally positioned and let me just take it back to size one and edit so that's about the basic of ik booster so catch me in the next video where we actually talk more about ik booster